Hello everyone. Today I'll give you a quick run through on how to find fonts for your um, gaming projects, your game development projects, and also pictures. Fonts are relatively easy to find if you pretty much just Google free fonts. You can probably find a few, a few sites that have tons of them. But I'll just give you my um my preferred websites to, to find fonts simply because it's I feel like it's easier for me and also pictures I'll show you how to you know like the small tips small tricks you can use to find similar pictures on some websites because it took me a while to figure that out and also at the end of this video I'll give you my personal idea or advice for game developers with a limited budget. So stay tuned and let's get started. So first we'll talk with we'll talk about fonts. F um the font the font um site that I use is 1001fonts.com. That's where I used to find um the few every time I look for fonts, that's where I go. Simply because you can see right here on the on the right hand side, if you follow my cursor, you can see it sh it shows you easily if the if the font is free for commercial use or if it's not. So the green means it's free for commercial use, and the red means it's just for personal personal use. So this makes it so much easier instead of having to guess whether you know the thing is just free for personal use or for commercial use. Because if, as a game developer, you you would prefer, you know, commercial used um, font, and this site pretty much just shows you right here. That's pretty much why I like this site. And this one, creative creativefabrica.com. All the site, all the fonts here are pretty much just for com uh, commercial use. So I'll I'll leave I'll leave the links of these these two sites in the description of the video and some of them actually look pretty they're presentable here you can actually see how they look you know with color instead of here where it's pretty much just black and white or just black so I, I like the way it looks here but obviously they're gonna be you're gonna be finding different fonts on different websites so I, I I believe this one has more fonts to look you know to find, so there are probably more fonts on this side than this side because it seems like there's there's not really that much, but 913 results. So if you're actually wanting, you know, more options, 1001fonts.com has your back. And now let's get to the pictures. There are primarily three sites that I use to find pictures that I want for my, for my training cards game, Godwrath. And um, the, the best one that I use, the one that has the most amount of pictures and you know variety is actually pixabay.com. This site has a lot of variety and it's pretty much one of the best free sites free you know free image sites you can find and let me show you how I navigate this site so let's say I'm looking for mountains right so I click on an image after you click on the image if you look down here you can see like tags if you click on any of these tags you can see similar images of the image you're looking for so that's that's a, that's another way to find similar images or find you know if if you're looking for when you're looking for images the the other way to find similar images that took me a while is actually just to click on the person most of the time the person the user has similar images probably not this one but you can see how it's the theme of this um user it's pretty much just Arabic type theme. So clicking on the and landscapes. So clicking on the user, 
you get more pictures. And there, if actually most of the time I find even better pictures click on the on the user than I had when I just searched the the product itself, the 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 keyword that I'm looking for. So most of the time, the best the best way for you to find pictures and similar pictures is to is to click on the user once of the of the picture that you've all found. So that's one of the best ways that I've that I've had that I use to navigate Pixabay is first the tags that you can find up here and the tags you can find down here which are pretty much similar you just have more of them and also the user you don't really have to follow the user but if you want to if you, it's also best if you download if you're all going to be downloading a lot of images to actually log in or sign up for pixabay because it makes you fill up fill out a captcha after a certain amount of images, if you're, if you're um, not logged in. So that's another tip, which you'll probably find out after using it. S similar with um, the next website on splash.com. This has more real, if, if, you're, if you're looking for more fantasy-esque type um, images, you'll find more on Pixabay than you will, since it has a larger you know, variety of pictures than you will on the other two sites that I'm, that I'm going to show you. While this one has more real pictures, so there's there are less fantasy type pictures. Even the fantasy key, um, if you even if you type in a fantasy keyword, you find more real like pictures with you know with a the fantasy theme. But if you go to uh, Pixab Pixabay, you'll find more fantasy you know out of the world type pictures. So Pixabay is pretty much one of the best places you can go to actually find pictures all to all types of pictures for your own for your game card game whatever type of game it is as long as it needs pictures pixabay is probably your best you know your best first option and then if, if after you you know you can also search this side they also have good images here too and obviously they're, they're pretty good pretty good stock images and some of them actually even though they're not tagged fantasy you can still use them in a fantasy setting if you want. And then the last one that I use is on Pexels. Pexels.com is pretty much similar to the Unsplash.com in that it doesn't really have that many. The variety is, I think, is even less than um, Unsplash.com, but it's also an option for you. And having more options is always a good idea when you you know looking for pictures because you might not just you might not find what you're looking for, exactly what you're looking for at Pixabay. So just go to the two more sites, can you know give you that, you know more variety, more chances to find what you're exactly what you're looking for. So Pexels.com is the is the second one, and the same thing works too for both of them. If you if you want to find similar images, you just click on the user. My computer is kind of slow, so my internet is kind of slow, so and you'll find something similar. I guess this one is more textures, so if you're looking for textures, you know, and layers, you can probably find abstract. That's pretty much how I usually navigate these um, image sites is through the user primarily, because the the keywords are, are a bit more random, while the users are some of the users are more focused but some of them are also random too so it really just it really depends but most of the time i prefer checking the user first before i even decide to go to the the keywords simply because especially when it comes to fantasy settings there's some pictures that you can't really find and if that user has that picture chances are it has similar type of pictures that you can't find if you click on uh, the keyword so that's it for the the guides. So free fonts, you can find them. They're not really that hard to find, but it's best not to be using um any font that you find because some of them are are not free for commercial use. They're just free for personal use. And it's best to actually know what what, you know, 
what you know what rights you have to use the fonts before you use them for your game especially if you know it's when you're talking about games then you're talking about something that the the creator may or may not see or find out about so that's it and this time we'll, I'm going to give you the the, ad, the advice that I have and it is pretty much for um if you're if you if you if you're a game developer and you have a limited budget or a small budget to try to save us save off on sorry about that so try to save up on as on cost as much as possible so what i mean is if you have a small budget and you really don't you, you really don't have that leeway to you know to invest in so many different aspects of your game like the the appearance of the game the images of the game if you can find free images it's best to look for free images if you can create your if you can um, create your own images it's also best to create the, the images for your game or the you know the art for your game if it's not time productive then you try to find the cheapest way to do it without sacrificing too much in, in the vision of your of your creation because i see a lot of uh, people spending a lot of time trying to make the the art of their game like perfect when and they, they try to spend so much money you know paying people like for example a trading cards game there's so if you're creating a trading cards game there's so many cards that you have to create if you spend money you know if you spend if you if you have a limited budget you can't spend a lot of money on you know paying artists to create the, the art to make it look good as or very extremely good simply because you may not have that money you know for that or if you have the or you if you can't create it yourself it's also it may not be it may not be cost efficient to you know to to create each art by yourself because you should be spending that time working on the game perfecting it trying to make it you know the game design is obviously more important than the the, the image of the of the game itself so spending more time or money working on the game design the components of the game you know and also you if you if you're if you plan on marketing the game yourself you also have to think about the money the cost that it'll take you know to market that game so if you spend if you you should you shouldn't spend too much time working on appearances or aspects of the game that you you've already gotten down and spend more time and money on things that will probably help the game even more so that's that's my advice because a, a good game is a good game even there you, you've probably seen a lot of you know you've probably played a lot of games that have terrible graphics but they 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 became so popular because the game itself was very good while you've also seen games that the graphics is stunning you've seen you know the even even the ad, the app the the ads of the games are great but you play the game and you just you just hate it the game just sucks so you really have to decide what what is important for you do you want to spend more time and energy focus on the the visual effects of the game and neglect the the design and you know and the the feel of the game or do you want to you know or even even the budget I mean like the marketing budget depends depending on you know how you how you market your game the game does not have to look that good for it to you know to succeed so it really depends on how you want to play how you want to market your game so I'm thinking I'm, so the, the the advice is to try to save up as much as possible cuz you really never know when you'll need money later on sometimes you'll need money because you you've you decided to change the game all over again So you've already spent money on so many things in the end you have to you know you have to spend money again and you don't have that much money to spend because you've already spent it on things that 
didn't even matter as much as you thought it, you know, they did. So that's my advice. And um, that'll be it for this video. If you like it, if you like the video, subscribe to my channel. And also check out my game, my, my trading cards game, God Wrath. Previously, Ragnarok, Dawn of the Heavens Massacre. But I said it, decided to change it something small, something um, easier to, um, to say. And the links will be in the description box below. Thanks. Bye.